All right, here we are back in the garage. This is the first part of the waste oil burner. And gonna get started with a couple small tasks here. Uh, to start off, um, I didn't document it, but uh, I did use some 60 grit uh, sandpaper in my seven inch uh, grinder. Removed all the paint just so that uh, when I do go to light this thing, all of that uh, propane tank paint won't just burn off and make a big mess. So I'll coat this with some high temperature paint and it should last for quite a while. So one of the first steps here is to drill a hole in the top of this tank. And so you can see here, I have traced out already the hole that we need to cut. And that is basically to accept this piece of three inch um, tubing. And this is gonna become the flue for the combustion chamber. So in order to be able to cut this hole, I'm gonna use a three inch hole saw. The problem is I can't get a pilot uh, to keep that centered in there. It's gonna be darn near impossible to do that manually. So what I'm gonna do is start off with a piece of just some Baltic birch plywood and I'm gonna drill into this and then once I have that drilled, I'll be able to take that piece and center it on the top of this tank. I'll use some self tappers just through the top to hold this piece of birch in place. And that'll be the guide for me to be able to drill a nice clean hole through the top of the tank with this hole saw. Okay, so I got the holes cut in, or the hole cut in the top of the little 20 pound tank that fits perfectly, great for welding. And here is the bigger 30 pound tank. And that fits just perfectly as well. So the next step is I have drawn a line around the bottom of this 30 pound tank. I'm gonna cut the bottom off and then we'll move on to the next part. So this is the 30 pound propane tank. The bottom has been uh, cut off. As you can see here, that is the inside. So the plan here, you might already have an idea what I'm planning on doing, but uh, with that flue uh, coming out from that hole, welding that nice and tightly around there, this other part of this tank here, that's gonna sit on top of that 20 pound tank. And this will be the water heating vessel. So the flue running through, the domed part of the combustion chamber uh, is really going to act as uh, a miniature uh, water heater, very similar construction to what you would see in a residential water heater, just scaled down considerably from what you would normally see. So the idea here is this will go through 
the top like that. And so that's where it's going to stick out the top there and it'll be welded uh, on the inside all the way around watertight and around where this 30 pound tank meets the 20 pound tank will also have to be welded watertight and that'll be fun. I haven't had great success in uh, welding watertight vessels before so we'll uh, give it our best try here again but um, yeah as you can see this is starting to come together quite nicely right, so. so I'm done working on the 30 pound propane tank for right now I'd really like to focus on the smaller 20 pound tank and uh, begin fabricating the oil burner and getting the combustion chamber to uh, a functional state and then once we get past that then I'll finish building the actual water heater component so the plan here to focus on that 20 pound tank is let's say this is our tank uh, we will cut a door one side of it there and we're gonna have our flue three inch flue going up the top so we are gonna weld that in the top of the tank there uh, and so I also need to cut another hole in the bottom of the tank and weld a short stub piece of pipe in there and the idea here is to use this stub and this bottom hole as the air inlet to feed the oil burner so for the oil burner it's essentially going to be uh, another piece of pipe that sleeves over top of that permanently attached one we're going to build a circular pan, if you will, kind of like this, that will be able to fit through the door. And then this top pipe will actually be capped. Uh, and so we'll have our path for uh, fresh, air, fresh air to come in through there. And we're going to drill a whole bunch of little half inch holes in here to allow air as it's uh, kind of working through its combustion cycle to to draw air in through the bottom and with the convection of the combustion gases the flames will actually uh, or sorry the gases will actually exit through the top flue and through that action it will create a vacuum and basically force more air to be drawn in and where it comes in here through these little holes will actually uh, feed and fan the flames to get better combustion and more vigorous combustion to get more of that convection and continue that cycle on. So it'll be a little bit of a, a chore to get this started, but once it's up to temperature and going, it should be able to sustain uh, a really high combustion temperature without needing any kind of uh, auxiliary blower or fan to, uh, to, to make that happen. So turning my attention to the bottom of the tank, I think that's the best place to start here. I'm gonna drill a hole with this hole saw uh, in the bottom there. And this hole saw uh, fits this piece of, it looks like two inch Sked 40, uh, decent heavy wall. And that fits nicely inside of this. And so this is gonna be part of the removable um, draft tube, I'll call it, uh, that will basically support the kind of combustion tray. And this is where we'll have all the holes drilled in it to uh, allow the air to enter through the bottom of the tank <clears throat> and then go up and kind of feed the flames. And then uh, it'll also serve, like I said, to hold the, the tray in place uh, within the combustion chamber. So. First step is to get this hole drilled and then we can move on to cutting a little piece of this tube here, probably machining it down. It's a pretty snug fit into that. And so I'd like it just to go a little bit nicer. Uh, so yeah, it'll probably just be a matter of removing a couple thousands from this guy.
so this is that piece I just cut in the uh, bandsaw there. Uh, it's just a two inch long piece of this two inch uh, pipe. It, like I said, it fits kind of snug onto there. Really just a matter of cleaning this up. And uh, as I machine this down, I'll just take it part way just to create a lip so that uh, when this is all kind of sitting, it's upside down right now, but when it's sitting inside of the combustion chamber, uh, it'll just kind of sit down onto that lip and it won't go any further. So we're on the shed. That's where my lathe is stored. There's just not enough room in the garage. Uh, I have that piece of tube uh, mounted in the chuck of the lathe. And uh, we're just going to, like I said, I'm going to kind of probably square off this end here. And then just turn this right to about, uh, I'm going to guess about there. No need measuring. It just needs to be somewhat close. Um, and then... I brought a sample piece of the other tube that needs to fit over it just to, to do some testing and uh, yeah, this should be pretty quick. All right, I have returned from the frigid shed successfully. So this is that piece of pipe. I just turned it down and I did a nice little, I don't know, bevel on that edge there. And so I figured, hey, this bottom Part of that other tank what a great cutaway to show exactly what i'm going to be doing so if you can imagine that this is inside of that 20 pound tank underneath there um, and we have a hole cut in and so this is going to get welded down in around the bottom of that tank and it will just stick out like that and then this piece of tubing here will beautifully just slide right on top of that and that will provide the support for our little burn tray that will kind of be centered around this here. So the next part, speaking of that little burn tray, burn pan, whatever you want to call it, uh, will be to grab some uh, sheet steel and measure out a circle. Of course, keeping in mind uh, the limitations of what I could fit through this little door here that I plan to eventually cut. Uh, it can't be any bigger than that, and uh, so yeah, cut that little pan out and then uh, get the piece of flat bar for the sides going on it too. Okay, so this is a 12 gauge sheet that I picked up. It was actually in the scrap bin, so I buy this by the pound of scrap. And so the plan here is to make that little round burn pan seven inches uh, in diameter. So I'm going to start by uh, cutting out a square, just slightly larger, so that when I put the, the piece of flat and I start to weld it around, I'm going to weld it on the outside of this sheet here where it intersects. It'll just be easier to weld and get a, a leak free weld uh, in that position uh, rather than fighting to weld inside all around that view.
Okay, so I have, this is uh, that piece I machined that's gonna fit through that hole in the bottom of the tank. This is our piece of, I'm gonna call it draft tube, and those are gonna sit down there. And so that's gonna basically be flush with the bottom of the tank. And then, this is strictly for illustration, but that's gonna be a spacer for right now. This is that piece of the flat that we have uh, cut a hole into the middle of. And so one of the next steps is going to be drilling a bunch of holes. I'm going to guess probably about half inch holes into this tube. And then lastly, once we go to put it all together, I'm going to use a piece of flat uh, 10, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 gauge to basically make a, a a bowl around this thing and this will get capped off and we'll feed the oil into there and then that little kind of channel around this is where the oil will collect and burn the fresh air is going to come up through the bottom it's going to fan those flames as it comes through these holes here and all that heat is going to get directed upwards to the top of that 20 pound tank which will be the bottom of the water vessel so that's about all I have time for in this video. I am hoping to make a little bit more progress. Uh, so far things are actually moving along really well. I'm quite pleased with um, how everything's kind of coming together so far. But uh, yeah, it's gonna probably take another night to get the burner completed. Uh, I also need to cut uh, the door into the side of that combustion tank and make it so it's hinged. Uh, it's going to be important to have a good seal around that door because we want all of the combustion air to come through this tube here. Anything that's going to come through that door is going to be uh, causing some turbulence and inefficiencies in the, uh, in the burn. So it's going to be important to make sure that that door seals closed really well. But uh, Anyway, thanks for, I guess, checking out this video so far. I hope to have more coming in the next uh, couple days, maybe in the next week or so. But uh, until then, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you uh, like what you're seeing here, don't forget to subscribe.